What's up YouTube? It's Maya Waya. And today I'm going to show you four cheap ways to do easy temporary hair color. So four of the ways include Jerome Russell temporary hair color spray in copper. You've probably seen this a million times since you were little because I have. You can also do temporary hair color by using hair mascara. Dye in minutes hair mascara in bronze. You can get these for like two to three dollars online. Another great temporary hair color is this liquid chalk by L'Oreal. I have this in bronze baby. The last way is a little bit different. This is color tattoo by Maybelline in bold gold. It's 24 hours and it's an eyeshadow. You may have already seen this method done before but I'm gonna compare and see how it holds up to the other three. Okay I'm gonna start with Jerome Russell. Like this little tissue is gonna help me. I'm I'm gonna try. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Y'all, I have not used this since I was like seven. Okay, so this is just a little bit. Of course, you can like kind of go ham, even though it says short burst, like you can still, you know everywhere but um you can see how the color is showing up already with the contrast let me show you against the shirt no i shouldn't because then you're gonna think it's the shirt okay <laughs> okay but you can see the contrast against the black i like it i like it now the only thing about this after you've worn it for a while and you're before you want to wash it out you want to wear it a little bit longer if you feel like it's too dry you can just use some oil sheen or whatever and spray that in and it'll it'll stay shiny and it won't feel so dry so that's the first one the next one i'm going to be trying is l'oreal's hair chalk in bronze baby the directions say apply to desired areas of clean dry hair with a cotton pad comb through for even distribution blow dry colored areas immediately after each application <sighs> i forgot i have to do the blow dry part so let's try this one out Make sure you really shake it. We don't want any discoloration of the coloration. <laughs> okay, so basically you take your cotton around and you pour a little bit of this on. Let me show you guys up close. Okay. Okay, that's, that's enough, Maya. That's enough. You'll have it on your cotton around and you just take the section that you want to color. And you go like this, and you pull it down, now if you have curly hair and you feel like you're like ruining your curls, you can do this beforehand and just like twist your hair or put rollers on it or Bantu knot it and then take it out after it dries. If you curl it wrong. So this is how this one came out. Oh, that piece is strong there, girl. Like, what? Of course, you want to get the cotton rounds out of your hair. Go, Maya. So this one seems to be more subtle, but I think it's because I didn't use as much. section let me try it another one okay so my head is starting to be all different kinds of colors here once again if you feel like this is too dry for you after a while you can apply some oil sheen but mine shouldn't be I just put it in okay so we're gonna blow dry Okay, so I just diva fanned y'all with the blow dryer, which uh, probably, I don't, I don't know if I even achieved what I'm supposed to be while I'm doing that, but you can see how this one is. I'm going to let you guys compare this for your own good. Um, I think this one blends more with your hair. However, you have to worry about 
applying it with a cotton pad but I do think it works well I do like the color as well okay so our next one is a bit easier thank goodness because I try not to make a mess okay now we're gonna do the hair mascara is it literally what it says it is hair mascara and it's got a little brush and comb on this end extra and see it's just like mascara before your hair gonna apply this one up close let's pick a section any section so you basically run it down your hair just like you would do with some mascara on your eyelashes and just run it on through so far these all have great color because they that one kind of go they, they go together pretty well for it to just be this little thing without this hair on it <laughs> but I definitely want to buy more of these because as soon as I tried it the first time I said that was so easy and I'm so indecisive about hair color that I would definitely like to just keep using this quick easy way and I think that looks just as good as the other ones and this was literally like two dollars and it doesn't take much to do like a good size section for it to be as small as it is still <laughs> Okay, so now we're down to the last one. I do want to compare it. I'm going to use Maybelline's Color Tattoo Eyeshadow. The last method, I'm going to try it way back here. Like I've seen people do this. Take the eyeshadow, put it up against the hair like backwards and push in and pull the hair as they go. And as you can see, that also gives you color. This is a little bit lighter than the other colors I've been doing, but hey, it blends in with it. But I've had this for a while, so you, it'll probably be even brighter if you have like a fresh um, jar of this. But you can see how that colors it. And it's this is um in a bold gold, so it's supposed to be a bit lighter. And there you go. That's the last method. This will take you a while, but hey, it's not hard. So basically, I would say these two are the easiest and probably the most cost efficient. <laughs> Between these two, this one had the best coverage. These two cost a little bit more, but um, they're both quick, easy ways to add some color to your hair. Um, these take a little bit longer because you have to do each section um, by themselves and this one you have to also blow dry. I have used this without blow drying and it worked fine as well but don't listen to me because I don't want to mess you up. But yeah these also add colors. It's really your preference but I would recommend these two for a quick easy application. I'm gonna tie these at first, second, and third. So. That's my review and that's how you get easy, cheap, temporary hair color.